it's relative it's the first important thing to remember happiness is relative what we're talking about is our present state of looking at the positives of our life and how they have more weight in that moment than the negatives and when we're not happy it's just vice versa would you agree hopefully you did because it's true <laughs> so when a person ask yourself these nine questions number one is my heart still in this number two am i doing this to fulfill what others expect of me or do i expect this of myself number three am i afraid of what others will think if i change number four is this just a tradition or long-held belief or do i actually endorse do i actually believe i am capable of doing something different number six am i just going through the motions number seven is this actually my way of giving up while i act like i'm still happy with this number eight am i beating a dead horse and most importantly number nine how does this honestly make me feel when i do this honestly if we make it of where i am and uh i'm i'm in love with it all good days bad days i'm in love with it all because i know it supports and, and it serves me i've learned to make conscious decisions that serve me right. and i am consciously aware of what no longer serves me to make those changes and that's mm. i've just defined it as part of my development and it's kind of cool to say hey that's that's what i'm developing right and so uh that that alone makes me happy that right there alone makes that, me happy yeah period yeah right because so. you feel like you're you're in part like you're you're taking control of your situation you know you're yeah. yeah not what happens always to me because not everything that happens to me is in my power or my control right. but how i feel about what happens to me and the results of that are in my control and that's what i've learned mm -hmm. i am not above anybody else to mm -hmm. this um i'm a, i'm gonna in a few minutes i'm gonna read uh, something to you that I read earlier, but it was nine questions that I put up the other day. But anyway, my point is that it it goes in that direction of curiosity. And I think the curiosity to, to investigate how you feel is the key to really being honest and to finding your way to happiness. It's interesting. I like that. I, I like that a lot. Thank you. And um, reason. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of that happy negative space where everything is kind of weird or wonky or not quite sure how you feel, because a lot of us don't know how we feel mm -hmm. to even address it, right? to even answer that question, are you happy? Or even know how to answer that, that question. But I can confidently say it's hard to see a room through a keyhole. Right. Which, in my mind's eye, means if my experience wasn't that and it was a complete flip, then when I go inside, there's going to be a different world there to pull from and to choose from as far as how I'm going to feel or what I know is possible and can open my mind to. All right. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> I think it's hitting the nail on the head for sure. Um, hmm. And um, I told myself when I was talking to myself yeah. that your problem is, is that you're looking at the future. And I've come to realize everything in front of us has a t can bear anxiety or worry. Yeah. Everything behind us has the ability to hold regret. And so I didn't want to be in either one of those spaces mm. because it, it just really wasn't serving me. And I was messed it, you know, the mind creates, the brain does. Right. So my mind, so my mind started to create a lot of shit right. on top of itself because I just kept thinking about, well, what if, right. what's going to happen? Future, 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 future. Right. And I told myself for 30 days, Michelle, you're not going to do anything but concentrate on what's happening right now. Mm. Whatever you're choosing mm. to do is the only thing right now is the only thing you're going to keep your mind on. And it don't get it twisted. It wasn't the easiest oh, yeah. exercise, right. but it did get easier. And I came to realize I started to 